guys. I'm going to teach you how to make a really good marinade for your steaks. A few basic ingredients. First thing we got, about a third cup of soy sauce, around a half a cup of olive oil, around a third cup of fresh squeezed lemon juice, about a quarter cup of Worcestershire sauce, and I have mm, about a one and a half tablespoons of garlic powder, about three tablespoons of dried basil, one and a half tablespoons of some dried parsley, just about a teaspoon of some ground white pepper, and of course some fresh minced garlic. I've got probably around two tablespoons here. I'm just going to combine all these ingredients and whisk them together. That's I'm going to go ahead and add all of our liquid ingredients first. The last ingredient I'm going to put in here is going to be the olive oil. That's all coated pretty well. I'll go ahead and add this olive oil. Get a really good mixture. Try to get everything to combine. it for this part so far. Next step, of course, we're going to go ahead and get those steaks out and be right back with you. All right, and of course, the next step, go ahead and make sure our ingredients are all combined again. Got a couple of really nice T-bones here for me and the lady. Place those directly into a dish that we can cover, so because we're going to want to refrigerate this. Just pretty basic, just pour it directly over the top. Go ahead and flip those, make sure both sides are coated. this pan because I do have a few more smaller steaks that I have for the kids. They don't necessarily all need a giant T-bone. We're going to go ahead and that's, what, that's pretty much it. I'm going to take the rest of these steaks, pour some marinade over them, flip them, make sure they're all coated and go ahead and cover it with some saran wrap and refrigerate it. It's best if you go ahead and let it stay refrigerated for you know six to eight hours so you get to give the meat a chance to soak up all that all of the flavor uh, a lot of that Worcestershire in the marinade is going to act as a tenderizer as well so it kind of breaks down some of the proteins in the meat makes it a little more tender and that's pretty much it uh, we'll be back with you when we're ready to grill these babies all right, these steaks have been marinating all day Got a good hot grill. So go ahead and uncover these. Throw them on. And what we want to do, get a good 
sear on it with high heat. And we're going to let these cook right at five minutes before we turn them. I'm just going to put them on here and leave them. It's a good five minutes. Bad boy T bones. Five minutes later, we'll be right back with you. These steaks have been grilling now for around five, six minutes. We're going to go ahead and do our first turn. cook for about five more minutes and we'll check back with you. Alright, I think they're just about done now. Looking pretty good. Keep checking back. 